AITA for taking in my niece against my brother and her mom's wishes. I don't think I did anything wrong but they are convinced I'm a jerk so my brother wanted me to post here for unbiased opinions. So my brother Eric married Mandy about five years ago. Mandy has a daughter named Layla from a previous relationship. When I met Layla we clicked instantly. She was 13 and I was 20 and I felt like I was her big sister even though she's technically my niece. Well Layla was at my place and it was a few days before her 18th birthday. I asked her what she was doing for it and she said nothing much because she has to start looking for a job immediately. I was confused because she got a full ride to our local college and my brother and his wife do well for themselves. Layla told me her mom and my brother sat her down and told her that after her 18th birthday she has to move out. They told her that she will be an adult and it's not their job to continue supporting her. At this point Layla started crying and hyperventilating. I calmed her down but I was pee. I told Layla she could move in with me. She was super psyched and I said we could start moving her in whenever she wanted. Layla went home and when her 18th birthday came around she told Eric and Mandy her plan. Mandy was furious and was yelling at Layla that she needs to stand on her own two feet. Mandy would not stop screaming and actually lunged at Layla. Eric was trying to calm Mandy down and Layla went to her room, grabbed her important stuff, and left. She called me and I came and got her. The next day Mandy shows up at my door and demands to be let and I told her no. She started banging on my door and I told her if she doesn't leave I'm calling the cops. She left and she sent Layla a text saying she was throwing all her stuff away and called her entitled. Mandy also sent me a text that I was out of line for getting involved in her parenting and that I should have checked with her before offering Layla a place to stay. I told Mandy if she wanted a say in what her kid does she shouldn't have kicked her out. I also told her I'm a grown woman and I can offer my place if I want to. She started calling me repeatedly so I blocked her. Eric says I need to just apologize for the sake of peace but I think that's ridiculous. If anyone should apologize it should be Mandy to Layla for how she treated her. Mandy is still really mad and is refusing to come to future family functions because nobody agrees with her. She said she will only come if I apologize so my brother says I'm a jerk and causing all the problems. So what do y'all think? Update. Okay definitely didn't expect this to blow up but I appreciate all of y'all's comments. It's been really helpful. I wanted to answer some of the questions people have been asking as well as share where we are at currently. Layla graduated high school early and is waiting to start her college courses later this month. So she was not in high school when this went down. Layla has no interest in trying to find her bio dad. Mandy has not been very forthcoming with any info about him when Layla has asked in the past. Layla informed my brother and I that her mom has been physical abusive in the past but it became less frequent when Mandy married my brother. Layla said her mom would only hit her when my brother was not home. She also said her mother scared her with threats of foster care so she felt she couldn't tell us. My brother told us that Mandy is diagnosed with bipolar disorder and also narcissistic personality disorder. She refuses therapy or medication of any kind. She has also been physically and emotionally abusive to my brother and said she would hurt herself and tell the police he did it if he tried to leave her or told anyone. My brother is leaving Mandy and he is terrified but my parents are going to help him. I told him as long as he keeps trying to do the right thing he will continue to have my support. My parents are still on his ass about everything but that's their son and our parents have always reassured us that their love is unconditional, maybe he will learn from them. My brother has read the majority of the comments and apologized to Layla for not standing up for her. Layla is understandably still upset with him but she wants to keep Eric in her life. Layla will start therapy soon and so will my brother Eric. Mandy showed up at my place again and this time I didn't wait to call the cops. They had her trespass so if she comes back she will be arrested immediately. Mandy has now turned to Facebook to share her grievances. She told all her friends that we are all against her, that we are abusive, that my brother is a wife beater. She started spamming my parents since she can't do that to Layla and I anymore. They blocked her. She is spamming my brother but he isn't going to block her so we can collect evidence for when he files for divorce. I want to thank you all for your support and your advice. My family and I are truly grateful. I will update if anything else crazy happens.